what a great night we have. And as Andrea said, the weather has been up and down on these. I think we hit uh, the jackpot tonight. So um, first I wanna thank Kimball Farm because pretty much they sponsor this. I have a very small charge for this. So obviously we're um, pleased for them for that and the work they do. And also all the staff members and boards and committee members that help put this together because there is a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes. And I think we have a really exciting venue for you tonight. So um, we've been busy at the town hall preparing for this, but we've also been busy and we have our own little baby boom going on at the town hall. I don't know if you all know that, not me, but, um, <laughs> but actually Jeff Morissette, will you stand? Jeff had twin boys, Noah and Joseph. Dan, Dan O'Donnell uh, had a boy, Luke. John Mangerardi in the back had his third son. <laughs> William, and he just had him two weeks ago, so John's been out and he's uh, blessed us with his presence tonight. And I actually told him he should have a TV show now, but he didn't understand what that meant, so <laughs> anyway. Um, and Scott Kinney from our IT department, who I don't know is here, just had a baby, Liam. So those are all boys born just within the last couple months, so we're very excited about that. Um, hopefully everybody's back to work now. <laughs> so in the absence of some of the staff, and actually one of my admins is out on medical leave, I hired a Chumsford selectman to work in my office, and his name, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> that was not me who booed there. Uh, his name is Matt Hansen, and I'd like him to stand up. This is Matt. <laughs> and um, I, I would like you all to welcome him, and that's where you send anything you want to have done by me. It goes directly to Matt now at TMAA at westfordma.gov. So he's, um, he's got a whole new perspective on what the town manager's office does. Right, Matt? Um, and oh, Matt, Matt, I have a paycheck for you right here. So hopefully <laughs> you'll come back tomorrow. And actually, this is better than Selectman. You don't get paid for that. OK, so um, why did this begin? Well, we wanted a venue where we could talk about pertinent topics, get all your input, find out what we're doing right doing wrong, and the selectmen started this about four years ago. We get about 125. I think this year we might go over that. Uh, and we won an award, the American Planning Association Award for this for our, our 2011 and 12 uh, events. So we're really delighted that you're here. Uh, there, is, there are copies of last year's up in the table there by Terry Stater, if you want to look at what happened last year. Um, what is new this year? Well, a lot is new, actually. We have a poster exhibit. Uh, John calls this the science fair exhibit. Uh, so I hope you uh, go table to table and look at that. There's the center fire station, economic development, 12 North Main, the anodizing building, and green communities. So those are all just exhibits for you to visit. And we have comment cards. I'm not sure where they are. John is pointing to the back corner so you can write comments about tonight. We have a comment wall where you could take a marker and write big comments if you want to make, make some big comments about what we're doing. We have evaluations, which you can either do on paper or we have a QR code. For those of you who don't know, that's a QR code. And if you hold your phone up to that, if you have a phone, who doesn't have a phone? What? <laughs> Oh, you have to have an app. So if you don't have an app, where is Mike Wells? Right there. He'll, there's a free one. So, and I think there's instructions about that on places like this around the hall. So download the app. You can do the survey right online, and we prefer that. Right, Mike? Okay, so we have a brand new Facebook page, which is a Town of Westford Facebook page. That's all you have to put in. It's just kind of getting, getting online. But tonight we're going to take pictures and post them on there. So you should all friend that and um, like it, and we'll, we'll build that up. Uh, I think that's all the new things, unless I missed something. So tonight we have four topics. We have community housing, which is going to be one of the first sessions. We're going to have you hear the two sessions by the presenter. Well, it's, it's a, in, it's a uh, facilitated discussion. But the presenter uh, is community housing, which will be in that room 
Okay, so those of you who want to learn about community housing, you go in that room, and Joan Cruto will be up in a minute to, she's the chair of the Affordable Housing Committee. She will explain what they're going to talk about in five minutes or less. And then in this room, we will have water resources, which is going to be in this vicinity, and um, Paul Starrett, engineer, and Steve Cronin, water superintendent, will explain that. After dinner, you will hear about the next two sessions, which will be recreation master plan, which will be in that room, and uh, agricultural commission initiatives in this room. So you can wander. If you get bored with what you're hearing, you can go to the other side. And we can kind of tell how interesting it is by the balance of the room. So anyway, anyway, that's pretty much it. So we're so delighted that you're here. It's a beautiful night. You will have dinner at 6.30. We line up here. And you may have a drink. Coke or a little stronger than that if you want. We don't pay for that, but that's at the bar there. And then there'll be an ice cream bar uh, after the break, right? After the second break. Then at the end, we'll come here and you'll hear what they learned. So thank you again. Great to see you and have a good night. I'd like to thank everyone for coming on this beautiful night. And I'm really glad this is my first opportunity to be here. And I'm really glad it's such a nice night. We can all enjoy it. God. Okay. Um, my name is Joni Croto. I am the co-chair um, along with Rob Downing of the Affordable Housing Committee. And what we want to talk to you about tonight is community housing. We want to talk to you about what we do, why we do it, talk about some of the initiatives on bringing housing and affordable housing into the community, and how we try to integrate and make sure that affordable housing doesn't stand out. We want your opinions. We want you to tell us what you like about what's been done and give us your ideas on what can be done to meet the state mandates. So with that, kind of short and sweet, it's pretty simple, and I will turn that over to You're over in this where tent. we are in that tent. We're going to have several uh, tables. There'll be a facilitator. We're going to ask you a series of questions, and we're going to ask you to give us your ideas, and we will consolidate those, and then we'll get up and talk about it. Thank you. Thank you, Paul Starrett, town engineer, uh, here with Steve from the Water Department. This October will mark the uh, 10th anniversary of the uh, Water Department working closely with the Engineering Department at the invitation of the School Department to make sure that every fifth grade student in the town of Westford understands the importance of protecting our water resources. And so for the last nine years, we've been going into the day school at the Living Lab program, proving that we are in fact smarter than a fifth grader, <laughs> most of the time. Uh, but here this evening, we're not, we're not here this evening to teach, uh, but in fact to listen. Uh, it's going to be important for us, especially over the next few years, uh, to discover what your priorities are and what you value the most about our natural resources. We have a lot of uh, uh, lakes and ponds in town. There's a Healthy Lakes and Ponds initiative here in Westford. Uh, Steve will talk in a second about uh, the water department's uh, drinking water and uh, a stormwater master plan that we are doing in the engineering department. And so it will help us to establish priorities because we have limited resources, uh, both staff and finances. And as we move forward, we'll need to know what your priorities are, what you value the most what makes the quality of life in Westford good for you as a result of our, of our natural resources. And uh, that'll happen at these little tables. We're going to have discussions in this room here, and uh, we'll be uh, learning from you what your priorities are. Thank you, Paul. Hi, I'm Steve Cronin, the Water Superintendent. <clears throat> um, so to, re to reiterate what Paul said, we definitely have a, a limited resource. And you know, as a water supplier, we're concerned with um, making sure that that resource is both healthy and sustainable. Um, that being said, there are some proposed uh, sustainable water management initiatives that, have, that are out that um, could certainly impact uh, our water supply and the amount of water that we're allowed to withdraw. Currently, we're allowed to withdraw 890 million gallons a year from our groundwater sources. And those numbers came from you know, calculations based on what the ground could produce and what we thought uh, population projections would be and things like that. Um, under the new regulations, they've looked at what these wells can produce along with some environmental factors, uh, things like uh, stream flow criteria and things like that. So 
That being said, they've gone from sort of a supply and demand based approach to a ecologically balanced approach. So tonight we're um, looking for some feedback on uh, the impacts that these regulations will have on you and, and how you feel about um, you know, potentially having to pay more for, for less of a supply of water. Thank you. My name is Andrew Sylvia. I'm uh, the editor and publisher of the Westford Template, reporting here for Westford Cat. We're here at the fourth annual strategic planning retreat here at Kimball Farm, and it's uh, beautiful weather. People are here to uh, tell the town about what they want to see in local government. I talked to a few people, and uh, here's what they said. I'm here with Jody Ross, town manager of Westford, and uh, Jody, how are you feeling? Oh, great. I think uh, we're pleased with attendance tonight. It's a beautiful summer night, and um, we're very thankful to Kimball Farms for offering us this opportunity, but we have a lot of residents and um, some interactive sessions that are exciting going on, so we're delighted. Kimball Farms definitely plays a uh, big role in the feeling of this event. Do you think this could be the same if it was held anywhere else? You know, um, they offer something that not many other people do offer and of course it's an institution in our town for 75 years I believe so I think it's perfect here and um, they offer us a wonderful meal and an ice cream bar for a very small amount of money for the town so I don't know if it could be replicated anywhere else it would be difficult. There's a little bit of a different format this year tell us about that. Well I think we did not want lecturing we have four different topics that we discussed and we really wanted an interaction between the residents and the board members so we have pre-scripted questions to ask them and you'll see them at, at individual tables and they're being asked to give us feedback about what is important to them you know what what we're doing right what we're not doing right and kind of redirect us so a lot of interaction no lecturing and those and the, those feed that feedback will be used as a uh in what the town does in the next year, correct? Yes, well we um, we gather all the input and then we analyze it and we replicate it and, and present it to the Board of Selectmen. I did bring copies of last year's retreat and what the deliverables were, if they redirect us if we're going in the wrong direction, so that will be available. It takes us a couple of weeks to put it together. It will be online. How does this year compare to previous years? It seems like a bigger crowd this year. You know, generally we've gotten about 125 people each year for this um, event. Uh, the first year it was 50 degrees with driving rain and we had heaters. The second year was 96 degrees and we had fans. Uh, last year was pretty nice. This might be the best um, weather year. I'd say it looks like it's around the same, maybe about 120 people, but we'll find that out tomorrow. But we're very pleased with the attendance. And for folks who aren't here, you can't get the... Uh the hamburgers and ice cream, but uh, apparently you can participate on this if you didn't make it. Is that true? Yeah, everything is online. You can see what topics are being discussed. You can give feedback and you will see the evaluations and we strongly encourage people to go online and give us some feedback on, you know, the event, the topics and sort of those sorts of things. And tell us what's going on here tonight. At tonight's strategic planning retreat, uh, the entire town is invited to come out and talk about important issues to the town. Um, so tonight we're talking about affordable housing, uh, recreation master plan, uh, agriculture and agricultural lands in the town, and water resources such as storm water management and our wells. And what, what's the um, the biggest subject you would think, or are they all e pretty equal? You know, um, we have about 125 or 130 people here tonight, and as I understand the registrations came in, um, actually people split up on those topics evenly. So I think we have even interest in, in all of those, So, which is great to hear. Nice. And what do you think about just the support of the community here in Westford? In Westward in general, yeah, or at this event? this event? I think it's wonderful. One of the things that we are tracking in our online registration is, have you been to this event before? And so as staff, one of the things we like to see is newcomers, people who aren't just the same board and committees that hear, that we hear from all the time. And we have, I think, about half of the registrants are people who have never been to a strategic planning retreat before. So this is the fourth one. So that means we're getting you know new information and new ideas and feedback, which is exciting for us. So if people want more information, if they've never heard of this, and you live in Westford, you're where can they get more information about this event? The town's website has um, all reports from all of the past uh, events um, online. They're PDFs, so if you go to the main page of the website, um, probably soon after this event in June of 2014, you'll be able to click on a link that'll say report from this year's um, uh, strategic planning event. And then past event reports are also online on the website. That's www.westfordma.gov. I'm here with Andrea Perriner-Sweet, uh, the chairman of the Board of Selectmen. 
And uh, Andrea, what are your thoughts on tonight's uh, event? Um, I'm actually thrilled. I think uh, the attendance is just fabulous. I've been sitting in and listening uh, uh, to the facilitated uh, discussion about uh, um, community housing. Um, it's just been really energizing. There are a lot of good ideas out there. Uh, folks are really energized about this. I, um, we have a tr fabulous night for this, so I'm very excited about it. This is almost kind of like Westford's summer town meeting. Do you think there'll be uh, ice cream and burgers at the regular town meetings in the future? Unfortunately not. <laughs> um, no, unfortunately we won't be having ice cream or burgers at our annual town meeting. But <laughs> well, How does this differ? Um, what's, what's this about um, for folks at home? Um, this differs because this is really uh, set up uh, to be um, uh, an interaction between the town and the community itself. Um, we want to hear from residents what their concerns are, uh, what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong. We want to impart information to the residents about what the town is doing, uh, what our projects are. So this is a real opportunity for people in t uh, on the town staff and our residents to come together um, in, an informal uh, in an informal setting and share ideas with one another. Um, and it really is set up to be uh, uh, a sharing of information and a sharing of ideas uh, among folks. How helpful has it been to the Board of Selectmen in previous years, all the input you've gotten from people? Um, it's very helpful. It's always helpful to hear from our residents what's important to them. Um, you know, when you're at a Board of Selectmen meeting, it's, that's a much more formal uh, uh, procedure. Uh, town meeting is much more formal, so to be in this kind of informal uh, setting uh, and to hear from our residents is always helpful. The Board of Selectmen after tonight, um, we will take uh, what we hear from uh, this uh, session tonight, we will take the comments that we hear, we'll take the feedback that we get online, and uh, we'll analyze it and we'll go over it, and um, we set uh, some of our priorities uh, based on what we hear from our residents tonight. Um, so it's very important, and, and we use that information going forward. There's a little bit of a difference in terms of the format tonight, and there's some topics that aren't here this year, like, for example, issues on schools. Can you tell us about what went into uh, planning the format? Um, the town uh, staff, uh, under the leadership of Jody and the department heads, uh, get together and um, they put together sort of a list of what they believe are, you know, their topics of priority, what they w uh, would like information about. And, you know, I think this year the list had about 10 to 12 topics on it. Clearly we can't do everything in one two-hour session. So the Board of Select is presented to the Board of Selectmen and then we sort of pare it down. Uh, into the issues that we think uh, are, uh, that we want to hear information about and that are most important this year. Um, schools have been on uh, the list and have been a topic of discussion, I think, for the past two years, maybe three, I can't remember, but at least for the past two years. Um, and so this year we wanted to give an opportunity to some new initiatives that the town uh, is pursuing, including uh, wastewater treatment, uh, stormwater uh, issues, agricultural issues, all new issues that are coming up that we feel need to be uh, out there and we want to get some feedback on. And there's also, it seems to be like there's, there's more of a small group setting versus the Q&A. What was the thinking behind that? Uh, the thinking behind that was to get more participation, okay? A whole lot easier if you have small groups of four or five people facilitated by, you know, somebody to engage in a discussion versus, you know, four people standing up there and presenting and then answering questions. It's really all about participation, and getting people involved and um, uh, committed. I'm Andrew Sylvie here with Helen Fu at the uh, Western Strategic Planning Retreat. Um, Helen, uh, good to see you. Good to see you too, Andrew. So uh, I've been to all of these uh, strategic planning retreats. I haven't seen you here yet. This is your first year here, correct? This is my very first time, actually. Uh, what brought you out this year? Well, basically, I I'm, want to be more involved with the community, and I'm kind of new in the area. So I just moved here about a year and a half ago, and I didn't know about these kind of uh, meetings and plannings. So since I'm now on the board for Sustainable Westford, and I'm also the co-chair of Healthy Kids Coalition, so we are like trying to be more involved with the community. So, um, so what what are your expectations for tonight? My expectation is really to see the dialogue channel opening, and I'm I'm glad that they want to hear the feedback from us. 
So um, basically, I'm just here, you know, as a resident in, in the Westford and want to kind of give my two cents of opinions and see, you know, what we can do to help us, you know, to have a better community. Have you been to any other uh, government board meetings in the past or? Not that much. Not that much. Yeah, usually usually I'm, I'm not as much involved in politics. But here I see that this is something that all of us as residents, you know, we have the responsibility to really help. So, so how does tonight differ from a normal government board meeting? I've heard from the selectmen and uh, town manager Jody Ross that they're, they're trying to look at input from residents all the time, but they're getting it here more. Why is, why is that, you think? Just because I think uh, as a board member of Sustainable Westford, uh, the, all the board members, we are trying to be supportive, and so I'm just, you know, getting more information about, oh, how important it is, because before I thought, oh, you know, politics, I'm not really interested, or we can't really do much to help, but now I, I've learned that actually we can make a difference. about this contraption that you have? This is a canister of real whipped cream. Can you only say that? Mmm. It's real stuff and people love it. Yeah. And, uh, the ice cream is like unbelievable here. You guys make it all here? Yeah. Yes, they do. And what, would you like to, what would you like people to know about Kimball Farm? Oh, it's a fun place to be and it's a good place to work too. Excellent. Yeah. And um, they have the best ice cream in the world and I have to say it again. Mmm. Thank uh, you. Dan, how's the ice cream? Ice cream is terrific as always. How, how many years have you come to this? You've been to all of them? Uh, shockingly, to some people, this would be my first. Oh, wow. Right. So, um, uh, what were your expectations coming here today? Well, I just wanted to get a chance to talk to folks about what's going on in town and share a little bit about some of the uh, things that are, that are coming out of discussions in town. Uh, we're trying to start up the Western Business Association here shortly, and uh, so just kind of share a little bit of uh, what is going on with that effort. This has not been the, not the first time that a Western Business Association has been tried to be started, so that's that's uh, one of my uh, focuses for being here tonight. What are you hearing from folks? A great deal of interest. As I said, this is not the first time that this has been tried, uh, but uh, you know, I think that it might be the first time it's successful. Well, so we'll see how that goes. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time. Well, thank you as well. And again, uh, thank you for your time and everything that's going on here with the Kimballs. Uh, I'm Andrew Silvey at the uh, Strategic uh, Planning Retreat here with John Mangiarotti, the uh, Assistant Town Manager. John, uh, how's it going? Uh, tell us about your uh, what you called the science fair at the beginning. Right, well every year uh, we get a lot of people out here to, to talk about some town issues and uh, we thought it would be helpful to have some things around the sides to spark up conversations about other pressing issues that we didn't want to have on the main uh, topic list. So tonight we have posters about the uh, 12 North Main Street property which is the old Westford Anodizing and the Abbott Mills building in Graniteville and it's, it's in a state of disrepair and we're hoping to get it uh, resolved. So we're trying to generate some community, community interest and uh, just get some ideas from residents about what they want to see there. Uh, we also have uh, wa water and wastewater, uh, sustainability, which has been a big topic for tonight. There's a poster about that. We have the Agricultural Commission put together a great dot, dot program where you're supposed to look at the priorities that they have listed and then you place dots next to the ones that you think are the most important. We have nice exhibit on the center fire station project where we're, right now we're doing a design for a new center station and this is uh, just an opportunity to see some of the results of uh, analysis that have been done uh, to date and it's been it's been great though because people come up and they have questions and uh, you, you hear perspectives that you don't get at regular board meetings so it's nice to have these one-on-one -on -one conversations with people and really get uh, put the information out there and, and get feedback we have a mailing list that we're generating from the discussions, so it's been great. And uh, past years has been different topics, uh, like the schools and other things. Uh, what went into the planning process in terms of the topics on the posters? Well, uh, we looked at the Board of Selectmen's priorities, and uh, we give them eight or nine things to choose from, and they pick uh, four that we have here tonight. 
agricultural, uh, revitalizing the Agricultural Commission was a, one of the Board of Selectmen's goals this year. And we're fortunate to have some new people and some energy on that committee. And it uh, looks like they have put together a pretty good program tonight. And I look forward to the momentum that they're going to take and, and uh, make some, some progress this year with agricultural. Uh, the REC Master Plan is a process that's just getting underway, so this is a great opportunity to have some conversations about that in the early stages. And the other topics are very timely as well. So it's really, every year there are certain things that are um, sort of coming to, to, to be more uh, in people's attention, and, and this is a good opportunity to get uh, low-level, uh, sort of wide, wide area of feedback about the things. What have been people uh, been saying to you about the poser so far? What's that your feedback been so far? Uh, people, you know, people are, uh, we have a good turnout, and uh, people have lots of great questions and some great ideas. And I think, you know, we'll definitely do this again, and we'll do more posters next year. Great. Thanks for your time, John. Sure. Thank you. If you'd like more information on the Westford Strategic Planning Retreat, check out the town's website, www.westfordma.gov retreat. For Westford Cat, I'm Andrew Sylvia.